Hello, my name is Andre, and I have some new cheap tricks for you for the Electron Octatrack, the sample machine that sits right in front of me. There's some shortcuts on this machine that I want to show you today. I picked 10. There's a thousand, I don't know. Um, I think some of you know all of them and know more. You can leave some comments if you want about your favorite shortcuts, but here are mine. The first shortcut is the Tempo plus Q button. If you push both, you can enable and disable the metronome. I do it very often because I need the metronome to play in um, the guitar or the piano. Second shortcut is the track button plus the bank button. With this, you can come up with the audio editor of the track that you push. So if you push the track button and the audio editor, uh, the, the edit button, the bank button, you have the, um, the audio editor and from there you can mingle and mangle your sample, you can cut it, you can, um, you can normalize it, you can slice it, whatever you want. Third shortcut that I use often is if you're in the recorder setup by pressing function plus the red recorder button, you can press function plus bank again to get this um, short menu. And from here, there's a very cool feature that I like to um, use very often and this is save all recordings. So if you have a lot of flex machines and recorded a lot of samples, you can um, save and assign all the samples. It's like um, save your samples to the compact flash card. The fourth shortcut is um, if you press function plus record, you can um, copy and paste names. For example, if I have a name here, I like to use parts and I always um, name the first part with the BPM of the actual song. And if, if you go to the edit menu of the part and you rename it, you can actually press function plus copy to copy the name. And then if you go to the next part and edit this, you can rename it, rename and then press function plus stop and paste the name. So you can use this function copy clear and paste throughout the entire system. It's pretty powerful. It's like using um, the um, copy and paste function on your computer, but you can also use it with your with names. So it's just get up, get into something like um, um, a naming window and then you can press function and copy and if you are in another naming window you can paste the name there. Also helpful if you have a lot of samples and want to um, name them accordingly. The fifth shortcut that I use is um, to clear the pages, the playback pages or the the M pages, it doesn't matter which page if you press the page button and then clear, um, you can clear the page. It's very good if you have a lot of settings and don't know how to get back, you can always clear the pages. You can also copy pages and it's very, very helpful if you want to, um, if you copy your settings to another track. So the next thing that I use is the micro timing. It's um, also very helpful if you have a trick here and push the left and right buttons, the cursor buttons, you get this micro timing and you can micro time your tricks so that are so that they are not not here and not here that they are here in between so you can micro time these um, these tricks I can I can show you maybe here's um, an example of my actual song that I'm working on and you can hear the percussion sound and now I can offset them offset it a little bit It's especially helpful to to have um, a more humanized pattern if you want. So you can, if you have a lot of tricks here, you can micro time them, and so they are not on the ex exact grid. So they they are not exactly quantized. So this gives a human feel if you have a lot of tricks.
So that's the micro timing. And the next, the seventh shortcut that I use a lot is um, the MIDI learn function. So if you have external gear and if you are in your MIDI, MIDI tracks, you can um, assign CCs so you can um, use the encoders on the Octatrack to remote control your external gear that's connected. And this goes if you press function plus if you push the button. And if I now um, turn one knob, it's learned. And then you can can use the, um, the encoders on the Octatrack to actually uh, change the, the values on your external gear. So I have a sub 37 here connected and now I can change the values. Maybe you have a listen. With this method, you can also um, parameter lock your your external gear. It's very powerful. That means I can also record uh, like a motion on on the filter on the sub thirty seven. It goes like this. Start here, recording, and go on very slowly. So we have the filter movement. Okay, that is MIDI learn. Now the eight shortcut that I like to use is function left and right to shift a sequence. That means if I got my tricks here, there's only one trick per page for the sub 37. I can press function plus left and right. And now you see the, the sequence got shifted from left to right. So you get something like a variation. Oh, it sounds like this. Now I shift it. And back. So you can shift through your sequence for a special part or so. And the ninth trick I want to show you is um, if you press function plus yes, you can play back your samples. That means if you have a sample, maybe this one, and you want to play it back, you can just press function plus yes, and then you can play it back to listen to it, what's on the recording. That's pretty nifty too. So, and the 10th um, trick, the 10th shortcut that I use is um, to how to clear recorder buffer very um, fast. Sometimes if you, if you sample and then something goes wrong, you really want to clear the recording buffer very fast. And the fastest method that I found is double click the track button and then function and clear. I don't want to do it right now because there's a sample there, but I can do it here and here, double tap function clear and yes. And now the recorder buffer is cleared and you can start sampling again. So that's about it. That's my, my favorite 10 shortcuts that I use very often. If you know more, please, please let me know, leave a comment and thanks for listening. Thanks for watching and thanks for sharing. That was some cheap shortcuts on the Octatrack.